Hello, this review is on the stainless steel cheese slicer. This is it here. Simple design. There's the blade. Which, in my opinion, the blade is too thick and it does bow. So, it does need some improvement. But once you get used to it, it does work fairly well. Not perfect, but fairly well. We'll keep it at that. So today I have some white cheddar. Now I'm going to kind of show you what I learned. Most times I would go right here in the middle and slice. And you can, but as you can see, it, because it bows, it cuts it off and you get just a little piece. What I also learned is this likes to stick. You gotta adjust the blade sometimes. So then I decided to start coming over here and we'll start on the other end. That's even. You want to make sure you're lined up. I found that if you do not hold the cheese in place, it works better. And then just slice it down. So we'll do another cut and I'm going to hold on to the cheese a little bit and then there you go I let go of the cheese and it's cutting fine. Now I'm going slower than normal but placement I think is everything with this one. Now see I noticed if I go here it's going to cut it. unless I hold the cheese in place. So depending on where you're at cutting will depend on how good of, that was thick, how good you're going to do. I prefer the front. I think I have a little bit better control or at the very back. And there's that. I have another type of cheese here. This is the pepper jack I believe I got with chipotle in case you're wondering. So again I'm going to start it in the middle like I normally would and it cuts it in proper. So and this is a softer cheese so I'm going to come and you can line it up. Let go of the cheese so it does its thing and it cuts it without a problem. Again, let go of the cheese. And this cheese is a little harder for me to cut, but I am kind of weak, so, you know, keep that in mind. And there it goes. So once you get the hang of this, it does work really good. The key is to get a, in the hang of it. Find that sweet spot on yours where it cuts really good. Mine seems to be either the back back or the front not in the middle. Watch your hands. My finger got kind of close there. So as you can see once I get the hang of it it gets going pretty good. The blade I still think is a little bit too thick but it does work pretty good. I like that it's stainless steel. It's a lot easier to clean. And I like that if you look underneath the cheese is all coming down and then when you clean it it's really easy to just get in there and clean it out you know because it does go straight through whereas the other types there's a bottom you know so it doesn't go straight through and that can be a pain to clean so this one does definitely clean up a lot easier than my other it cuts good once you get used to it you occasionally have to manipulate the blade a little like you've seen me do to get it so it's not bowed and it goes, it cuts. That was my fault there. So overall it's a good one and I didn't let go in time. You know, just use it, cut it however big you want. It has plenty of room, you know, so if I just want a big chunk 
you know, to cut it in cubes for, for whatever reason that I might need. And that's it. I'm a little rough with it, as you can hear. But um, it works good. It cleans up really nice. I do definitely suggest drying it once you're done because stainless steel. And that's it. There you have it. You've seen it. It works. Got to get used to it. Play around with the blade a little bit. And that's it. There you go.